Start off with our trader, Courtney Garcia, Senior Wealth Advisor at Payne Capital Management. She's also a CNBC contributor. First up is Dell Technologies. That company continues to expand its AI partnerships and shares have been on a tear over the past year, surging by more than 230 percent in that span. Uh, Dell is also getting kind of an analyst upgrade at Evercore today. What's the trade, Courtney? Yeah, I would be a buyer here. Um, Dell is something we've actually talked a lot about this year, something that we're optimistic on as one of the beneficiaries of artificial intelligence. I think the only concern here with Dell is the fact that it has done so well over the last year. When you look at its valuations, it's trading almost 20 times next year's earnings, which is about double the levels it was at earlier this year, as you're clearly starting to see some of that optimism getting priced in. But if NVIDIA earnings were any indication, I think we're really just hit, kind of hitting the tip of the iceberg there with the demand you have going forward. And when you're going to see that demand toward AI servers, that's where Dell is going to benefit. But the other side of their business is PC demand. And this is something that you saw everybody bought a new PC during COVID. There tends to be about a three-year cycle with that. So we're about due. Second half of this year, it's expected PC demand to pick up again. But you have to add artificial intelligence on top of that as well. We are likely going to need AI-enabled devices. And again, that is the other side of their business that's going to benefit from artificial intelligence. So is it getting a little expensive? Yes. I don't think it's... At all. I, I don't, still don't think it's too late to get in here, and it's absolutely something you want to hold for the long run. Many people talking about Dell again. And look at that year-to-date performance rivaling NVIDIA. Let's move on to another one, DuPont. They just announced uh, they'll split into three publicly traded companies. Joining a number of U.S. conglomerates trying to do that. The stock's up 13% over the past three months. Courtney, is this a buy for you here? This is, and I don't think this is going to be as, you know, sexy and exciting as a Dell or something with artificial intelligence, but the fact that they're splitting out into three companies, I think is going to, going to unleash some share, some value for shareholders just in the way that GE did with their companies. So um, maybe not as exciting, but absolutely something that has some upside here as well. All right. And finally, Courtney, the name Ralph Lauren just reported better than expected earnings and raised its quarterly dividend as well. What's the trade on the luxury end? Yeah, I would be a holder here. Um, actually, they they really beat expectations, which was fantastic to see. And I really like what they said, were saying about the consumer, where they actually use the word resilient, and where there's a lot of questions about the consumer right now. If they have a consumer who is standing strong, that is absolutely what you want to see. So this is a company that if I hold, I own, I would hold on to it. Um, retail space is tough, though, right now, especially just as people are having to choose where their dollars are going. Um, so I wouldn't be adding new money here, but I would hold on to it if you own it. All right. Courtney Garcia with a three-stock launch at Payne Capital Management, Senior Wealth Advisor there. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon.